Welcome back folks to a brand new video. Greece is one of the most beautiful countries on earth. It's best known for its whitewashed architecture, incredible history, wonderful beaches and landscape, and of course, the weather. Now I've spent several years here and there are plenty of options for you to see, but I've narrowed it down to just a few. So here are 10 beautiful places to visit in Greece. Now before you even watch this video, don't forget to hit that like button, obviously for the YouTube algorithm. Number one, Nafplio. A popular weekend destination for Athenians, Nafplio is a picturesque little town in the Peloponnese. It's set on a bay on the eastern coast of the region, and it was the first capital of the modern Greek state in 1828 until Athens took over in 1834, just a two hour drive from Athens. Now this is a popular weekend getaway and a beguiling escape too for travellers looking to soak up the charm of coastal Greece without the crowds. Number two, Mykonos. Now if you love to party to dawn and be in with the crowd, then Mykonos town is the best place in Greece for you to visit. It's an island which has been dominated by the Greek social scene for years, ever since the 50s and 60s. Now be prepared to be blinded by the morning sunshine and the bright whiteness of the houses. Little Venice is the part of town where the houses and restaurants go right up to the waterfront. It's quaint and the narrow streets behind are an interesting labyrinth of boutiques and bars. You'll get to see the cluster of five windmills on the town's coastline, making it an iconic Instagram photo if you snap them at sunset. Number 3. Hydra Captain America's number one enemy, and of course, one of the most beautiful places in Greece, is Hydra. The island near the capital of Athens is only two hours away by boat. So when you arrive on the island, you first see the small port of Hydra, which is a lovely place with multiple restaurants and a concentration of beautiful buildings. On Hydra Island, you won't see any cars. Everyone uses their feet, boats or donkeys but use your feet just to go around. The car ban, along with the elegant stone mansions of the island, create this charming atmosphere and make the island one of the most serene destinations near Athens. So if you want to avoid places like Mykonos, this is the place. Corfu, an island off Greece's northwest coast in the Ionian Sea, is defined by rugged mountains and a resort studded shoreline. Its cultural heritage reflects years upon years spent under Venetian, French and British rule before it was united with Greece in 1864. Now I know Corfu like the back of my hand. Seven years worth. St George's Church, the old Venetian fortress, Corfu Old Town, Almiros Beach, so much more. So my advice to you is go anywhere and you won't be disappointed. The castle town of Monombasia is among the most impressive places in Greece. Located on the southeastern side of Peloponnese, Monombasia was entirely carved on the backside of a sea rock in medieval times. Now this huge sea rock is not visible from the mainland so that the locals could avoid enemy attacks. And the only way to reach Monombasia was by boat, 
while later on a paved pathway was constructed to connect the castle entrance to the mainland. Now a walk around the castle town is a travel to the past, while the sea view from the castle top is breathtaking. Santorini. The most prolifically photographed and visited Greek island is the gorgeous Santorini. It's stunningly beautiful with the main towns of Oya and Thera, perched precariously overlooking the Santorini caldera. While you can witness the famous sunsets, it is surely one of the most beautiful places in Greece. Super overcrowded though, but <laughs> folks, choose the time of year wisely due to the crowds of the Instagrammers. Number seven. Crete Crete is Greece's largest island and it's known for its varied terrain which ranges from fine sand beaches to the white mountains. But we're going to focus on Hania town which is a city on the northwest coast of the Greek island of Crete. It's known for its 14th century Venetian harbour, the narrow streets and of course the waterfront restaurants. Also at the harbour, you'll see a 16th century lighthouse with Venetian, Egyptian and Ottoman influences. This is the town where you need to head to. is a half an hour boat trip from Mykonos and yet many of the people to Mykonos never even get there and it's one of the most important archaeological sites in Greece. Why? Because they're too lazy in bed to get up in the morning because of last night. But the archaeological site on the island of Delos are the remains of a sanctuary to the gods Apollo and Artemis and the city that developed around it. The on-site museum has one of the finest collections of ancient Greek and as well as the displays exhibiting numerous artifacts recovered from excavations around the island. This is a must. Get up in the morning, get on that boat and go take a look. Eos is a Cycladic island sitting in the heart of the Aegean Sea. It's said it's popular among the youth as one of the top party Greek islands thanks to the crazy Eos nightlife. But the truth is, it's much more than that. Eos has tiny whitewashed houses, 
narrow cobblestone alleyways, picturesque cliff-top villages and of course, the mesmerising Eos beaches. During the day, Eos Island is an absolute paradise. People escape the summer heat at the Golden Beaches where they take a dip in the crystal clear Aegean waters. When the sun goes down, the bars and the restaurants of Eos come alive. So there you have it folks, I've just given you 10 possible places for you to check out on your next holiday. Those of you who like the quieter side of things and those of you who like the party towns. Greece has so many options. I highly recommend it. One of my favorite countries on this planet. Hopefully that you enjoyed this video and I'll definitely see you on the next one. As always, be good, be kind and be careful. Peace.